Hi everyone, Chris here from Heed the Ball and back in October I got the chance to go across to Jersey and meet Britain's newest and most southerly club, Jersey Bulls. I was playing Epsom and Newell and the Cherry Red Records, combined counties Division 1, easy for me to say. And I got behind the scene access, got to meet players, directors, fans and I got to meet Scott Murphy, the captain of Epsom and Newell. Um, this was originally for a football manager video, um, I'm still playing that at the moment but I thought it'd be quite interesting to cut the football manager stuff out and just show case the interviews and everything I got because I got some really good stuff and I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, if you like it, subscribe and let's get on with it. Good game, good performance, so another win, just keep going. Oh, it's the normal, uh, up all cereal, uh, banana. Uh, and that's me, ready to rock like everything ready in the bag. To get off two goals in the first ten minutes was good, but at the same time it was probably that probably hindered us for the rest of the first half. Ah, oh, struck a lot to be honest. I had a dry patch, you know, scored two and two and two, so well, not two and two, but <laughs> yeah. So here it is, everyone. I'm at the Springfield Stadium, home of the Jersey Bulls, and today we're going to take in a match, and today we're going to take in a game. Jersey Bulls against Epsom and Ewell and I'm looking forward to it and it's quite an impressive stadium, take a look at this Absolutely beautiful Yeah, my name's Gary Freeman, yeah, um, manager of the Jersey Bulls. I think for the island, if I start there, I think it was something that the island's been crying out for. Um, a chance for our players to test themselves against UK opposition, so we're getting that at the moment. So you see the level we're at. I think our players are very good players that hopefully can rise through the levels of amateur semi-professional football and see where we can get to. I think as a manager, I believe our players are good enough to play a couple of levels higher than this. That's something we've obviously just got to keep pushing for, keep trying to improve on. Um, for yourself, coming as a manager, I think if you look at the club, I think the board, the main two driving forces behind it, Russell and Ian, have worked really hard to get it to this point. Both used to play a bit of football, both managed in the past, I think, so uh, they're both qualified coaches, so they've always got a input on the game show, which is good, a good sounding board, so nothing but positive from that side. Players, I think, they've got ambitions, a number of them, you know, they've got mates who've gone and played at conference level, um, they've seen where their mates have got to, they hope they can play somewhere near it, but there's always an opportunity that they might get spotted, you never know. I think there's a lot of talented youngsters on the island, so we'll see how they go in the future. I think this is just the start. I'd like to think in a year or two's time we settle down a little bit and we'll find the natural level where we may have to tweak things and, and whether the club goes that direction and bring in paid roles, well, that we'll see down the line. Okay, so I'm Ian Horswell, director of Jersey Bulls Football Club. Um, also the co-founder, we launched the club in uh, 2018. Um, there's a lot of hard work to, to organise in terms of raising uh, sufficient revenue to, to enter the league. Um, we have to pay for every team visiting the island and therefore um, we also pay for ourselves flying over to the, uh, the, the mainland every other week as well. So the, the costs to run the football club are quite, quite high um, before, before we, we kick a ball. Um, so the club means an awful lot to me personally. Um, you know, it's a, it was a bit of a dream to see the club kick off their first ever game against Stevenage and have an entertaining 4-3 defeat at home uh, back in July. Uh, ever since then, we've been playing in the uh, Combine Counties League uh, Division One um, and their Associated Cup competitions, which we've managed to go on an incredible run of uh, 17 consecutive uh, victories, which is uh, truly unique and remarkable. Um, and I think the club um, means an awful lot to the island as well. We've never had a professional ish run football club um, so we have a professional rugby side here um, but to have a football team whilst we're not professional we're not semi-professional we're an amateur club right now um, to play in the English Football League pyramid is, is truly exciting um, a lot of a lot of the 
uh, fans here are, are passionate on their football, whether that's Premier League or, or other, other countries' leagues. Um, and to have someone uh, here now in Jersey they can follow um, through the leagues is, is, is really, really exciting. Um, you know, Jersey in the past, we've, we've generated uh, professional players. Uh, famous ones would be um, Chelsea's Graham Masso. Um, now we've got five players from the island currently playing professional football, um, ranging from championship through to national leagues. Um, so, you know, Jersey has a history of producing professional footballers. Uh, and we hope that can continue. Um, the formation of Jersey Bulls Football Club is only going to help our players in the shop window. Um, and hopefully a few more will follow in their footsteps. Um, ambition of the football club, um, quite an interesting one. You know, we've, we had a business plan, which is a three year model of being an amateur football club. Can we get consecutive promotions, which would be awesome. Um, next season, the excitement comes uh, to town for us for the FA Bars. We'd love to have a, a, a lengthy run in that competition. Uh, and then the following year, we enter the FA Cup for the first time. And, you know, we're really hard to, to, to sort of guess where we'll end up in terms of the football pyramid. Um, we can benchmark ourselves against Guernsey FC um, because they're our next island neighbour. Um, we have a, a larger population here in Jersey. We're 105,000 versus 63,000. So we've got a slightly bigger, uh, bigger talent pool. Um, so I would say we're probably in their division, maybe the division above them, who knows. Um, and then and then you take it from there. But the ultimate goal would turn, turn the football club into a semi-professional club. I uh, wouldn't say we'll go full-time, but you'll never say never. Uh, we have a full-time rugby club in the island, so as I say, 105,000 people. So we'd never rule out um, going to that to that level. Um, so yeah, that's that's the, the club at the moment. Um, here at Springfield Stadium, we, we have 982 seats. Uh, we're currently working with our local football association, the English FA, uh, and the government about um, uh, improving the stadium. It's uh, currently got like a fence, a really high fence around it. Um, we cannot uh, stand behind the goals because it's grassed area, which is uh, deemed unsafe for FA health and safety purposes. Um, but you know these fences will hopefully come down, and we can create a bit more of a, a bit more of a stadium, um, which I think will boost the atmosphere here as well in Jersey. Um, so they're all the sort of goals that we want to want to do uh, and, and build on, and we look forward to doing so. I'm a proud uh, follower of uh, the Jersey Bulls. My company, CPA Global, uh, is one of the sponsors uh, of uh, the club and uh, just very proud to be part of the organisation. Um, I've missed one game, unfortunately, this season. Uh, the rest have been fabulous. Uh, the Bulls have put in a really brave effort. It's tough at times because of the, uh, their local commitments to their clubs. Uh, this week, a lot of the players are away uh, representing Jersey in, uh, in a cup game over in Sutton. Um, today's game was a very, very hard fought game, uh, which is exactly what Jersey need. Jersey need to be pushed and uh, today they certainly were pushed. A great effort from everybody. Um, thinking back to uh, previous games, they've been under the cosh initially and then uh, Guts, determination, grit, and overall strength and fitness has uh, certainly served them well. Yeah, so I'm Jay Giles, um, play, for, play left back for the Jersey Bulls. Um, obviously, it's a new venture that we started at the start of the season. Um, before that, playing locally in Jersey for some pools. Um, and obviously when, when this um, opportunity came about, it was something that um, I couldn't really pass up, um, along with obviously a big group of boys um, in the island. The opportunity to play in the UK against um, unknown teams, unknown oppositions, um, is something that was very um, advertising to everyone. And this first third of the season has been brilliant. Um, and it's something that everyone's thoroughly enjoyed. Um, we've won, obviously won every game, um, some have been a lot tougher than others, um, be that whether we've had players missing, um, weather conditions or um, external factors, but as a group we seem to have bought into it and we've 
ground our results and at the same time we've played some nice football and um, won quite emphatically at times. Come on, fellas! Scott Murphy, club captain of Epsom and Yule. Um, been at the club now for three years, but I was firstly at the club 10 years ago. So I'm 31 now, a bit of an old man. Um, come back, I've played 110 games now. Um, and the club's just just amazing. It's been brilliant. A um, lot of good people that do a lot of stuff behind the scenes that obviously people don't really appreciate because they do it all for free. So. A lot of people that work nearly full time on it and they don't get anything out of it, so it's uh, a privilege for us boys to be able to play. Um, and get out, we obviously get a little bit of money as well, which other people don't. And there are a lot, there's a lot of stuff to do with the club. Um, today's game very tough. We knew there was a few players missing, so it was a bit of a Bit of a boost for us to try and push on in the game, but they're probably a little bit of a different level to us. They're a little bit fitter, better on the ball, some of them. Um, but yeah, it's a good game. Good game. When, when I was a kid, I was at high. I was at Woking as a kid, so I was playing conference. Um, I've just dropped down as I've got older. I would probably say Jersey. They're 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 easily two or three leagues. I would say above what we are now. Um, they could have had a few more today, but then we did hit the post and the bar, so we could have we could have snuck one or two. But like I said, they had nearly a whole team missing, so it's hard for me to comment without seeing their full team. But I've heard a lot of things like they should be two or three leagues, probably. <laughs> I'm Simon Funnell, I'm the manager of Epsom and Yule, um, and we say we travelled over today uh, from Gatwick early this morning. Obviously expecting a tough time, uh, as uh, you boys are flying high and, and we're struggling a little bit. I know you've got a few players away today and, uh, and you've had seven or eight players making their debuts. Um, it's tough, tough for us today, you know, penalty, uh, Goldie got close to saving it and then an own goal. Um, but I think you had the Lions possession, you had a lot of possession on us today. Um, and created more chances than we did, so you probably deserved the game. Um, Epsom as a club, uh, we're quite a small club. We don't have our own ground at the moment. Um, we look at, we ground share with Chipstead from the Ryman League, um, and we're obviously looking to try and find our own ground. Um, it, so it's tough times for Epsom at the moment, and, and I say we are struggling a little bit in the league. And our form has been quite good, but we get punished quite a lot um, when teams break on us. They seem to score every time they go forward. And it's been a tough season so far, so hopefully, you know, with the performance today, if we can perform at those sort of levels against the lesser sides, then hopefully we'll pick up more wins than we do draws, which we need to get soon to... I, don't think, I think promotion's probably too far for us now, but we just need to start climbing the table a bit. So, yeah, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a good day and we'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, we'll go out as a, as a team, as a squad, which we stick together, win, lose or draw. Um, but can't really argue with the result. I think the better side won today. <laughs>